Hi you guys, this is Jamie with Whatever's Clever Boutique and I have a bonus teacher appreciation, last day of school, anything teacher tumbler for you today. So I'm gonna use School is Wild. It was a collaboration with Paint Between Dreams and Banff Custom Creations. And I'm gonna do a split style tumbler here. So I'm gonna measure the full width of my 30 ounce skinny from Craft Haven. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take that vinyl that I trimmed and I'm gonna go ahead and measure what half of that full width is. Which on this one, I believe it was 4.75. So we're gonna go ahead and trim that vinyl. And then we are going to take our all-in-one tool from Cami Page Boutique and we're gonna go ahead and draw a straight line this is going to be our reference when we go to lay that vinyl so we can be sure that our vinyl is completely straight. Now we're going to go ahead and peel off a little bit of that backing and we're just going to go ahead and trim a little bit of that off and then I'm going to line that vinyl up with the line that we created earlier and that's going to give us a perfectly straight piece of vinyl. Now I'm going to take my large Bowen squeegee and just push that backing right out from underneath and then I'm going to pull the top of the vinyl really tight so that I can get my X-Acto knife in there and trim without having any little bubbles or anything like that on the top. Once I get that cut off, I'm going to angle my X-Acto knife down to try and create a little bit of a exposed rim on the top there for our final layers of epoxy. Now I'm going to go ahead and push that vinyl down on the bottom and I'm going to take my Cami Page Boutique Vinyl Cutter Tool and I want this on the lowest setting so I went ahead and loosened up those little eye nuts there and then put the blade in the depth that I want. And then take my tumbler and just spin it around like I normally do and that will give us a perfect little rim on the bottom as well. Now I'm going to go ahead and tape off that vinyl. I don't want any paint or glitter or anything getting onto the vinyl so we're just going to tape off the sides and the bottom. Then I go ahead and take that X-Acto knife and trim off any of that excess tape so that we have clean, crisp lines there for our paint. Then I'm gonna go in with Pure White from Papa Color Paint, and I'm gonna go ahead and do two coats of paint here to get really good, bright white coverage. And once we get that all base painted, we're gonna go in with a ton of glitters. So I'm using Petunia and Honeydew from Chase Ray. I grabbed Danzel from Peach Yellow Glitters, Good Vibes, Smoothie, and Peony from Chase Ray, Lavish, Thrive, and these top ones are all from the Hot Girl series, Flourish, Opulent, Prosper, and Splendor. We're gonna use so many glitters today, and I will say, I do steer clear the damsel once I laid it down. It was more purple than blue, but you'll see that here in a sec. So we're gonna go ahead and put a, I would say a little more than normal amount of epoxy on our painted part of the tumbler. Now we're gonna take those chunkier cuts and we're just gonna kind of create the layout for how our glitters are going to lay on the tumbler. Thank you. 
Now, as you can see here, when I lay the damsel, it shifts a lot more purple than I wanted. So I end up grabbing Glacier from Chase Ray Glitters, and I'm just gonna use that for my blue. It was actually hiding, that was the glitter I was looking for. <laughs> but I searched and I ended up finding it. So now we're gonna go back in with those chunky glitters and start to blend them a little more by holding the cup at an angle when I apply the glitter. Now once we get all those chunkies laid, we're now gonna go in with those finer glitters to really build the coverage of the ombre. And again, I'm just tilting my cup, not as tilted as I would if I was just doing a two color ombre. I just kind of slightly tilt it because you don't want it to fall all the way down like this orange into the purple. So I just slightly tilt it to try and get it to go into the color that's just above and just below, just to really build that ombre for us. Now I pat down that blue section just to expose any of the epoxy that may have presented itself after tapping it down, just to try and cover up that damsel a little bit better. Now we're gonna take a piece of parchment paper and we're gonna wrap that tumbler up and really press down on all those glitters to get them to flatten out. And once I do that, I'm gonna go in again with that fine blue glitter and just put it right over that blue section. This will get covered up by our decal, but I am a perfectionist, so it was really bugging me <laughs> being able to see that through the blue glitter. Now we're gonna go ahead and remove that tape. And once that epoxy is all cured, we're gonna go in with our Crystallite glitter glue and seal in all of that glitter. We don't want any of the glitter transferring into one of the other colors. We definitely don't want it transferring to our vinyl. So this is just sealing all that glitter for us to make sure that it does not shift. And now we are finally ready for our first coat of our KS Resin Liquidy Split Ultra UV Enhanced Epoxy. And I'm just gonna apply that all over the tumbler. And we're gonna go ahead and let that cure. It takes roughly four hours for me. And then I'm gonna go back in with a second coat to be sure I have a pretty smooth finish. And now decal time. I took, I think the font was Freshman, I believe, in my Silhouette Studio, and I typed out Teach, and I created an offset. So the white is gonna be our text, the black is gonna be our offset, and then the orange is going to be an offset that we 
made into a compound path to create a gap between the actual text and this orange outline. You'll see here in a minute what I'm talking about. So we're gonna go ahead, this was a little challenging. It took me a little bit of time to get that perfectly straight because this is a large decal, so you will be able to see if it is at all off. So I wanna measure each end on each side and I just kind of kept shifting it until they were all, I believe it was 1.25 from the edge. Once I got that done, I went ahead and removed that backing, left that painter's tape there as an anchor, and then just pressed that outline down. And I chose this gorgeous, I think it's fluorescent opal orange vinyl from Tech Wrap Craft. And I chose it because it matched perfectly with the apples that are on the other side. And then I went ahead and just did each letter separately and then set those inside that outline. And as you can see there, there's a gap between the text and the outline. And that's what I was going for. So I will say that the white vinyl that I used was a scrap piece of vinyl from a long time ago, caused me all sorts of problems. I had to poke out a whole bunch of bubbles. It ended up working fine. It just took me a little more time. So I would suggest using a high quality vinyl when you do this kind of stuff. Tech Wrap Craft is absolutely great. I've never had any issues. And I went to use this piece of vinyl and it brought back all the horror memories. <laughs> so use good vinyl. And then I'm going to take, this is another um, semi-transparent sheet from BAMP Custom Creations. And I just cut out one of those little apples and stuck it right on the bottom there. And then we went ahead and I did sand my rim at this point. So I did that before I laid that decal. I should have mentioned that. So now we're going to go ahead and outline that vinyl with this holographic sparkle pinstriping. So I just rim the entire vinyl section and then go ahead and trim it to create clean, crisp lines there. Now we're going to go in with our quick coat from CC DIY and we are going to apply that all over the tumbler to seal in all of that vinyl work we just did. And once we get that all applied, we're going to let that dry for about a half an hour. And then I'm going to go in with my final two coats of epoxy. And here is what we have. I absolutely love how this turned out. It's not your, you know, ordinary teacher colors. It's not the red, orange, yellow, green, blue. It's more of the pastels. But this sheet of vinyl really gave me the inspiration. I tried to match the text on the vinyl to the text over the glitter when the SVG that we created. And tried to incorporate that apple color in the vinyl as well. So I just love how this whole thing came together and I have everything I use listed and linked down in the description box below. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Feel free to like, subscribe, hit that bell button if you want to be notified for any future tutorials. And I hope you guys have a good rest of your day today. Thank you for watching.